I'd like to give a shout out to the newest member of the comment club. If you want to join the comment club, make sure you leave a comment below. What is going on guys? This is the Cransmelt here and we've got some huge updates and changes to team of the week. So let's get right into it. So if you guys go into the new team of the week sets, you'll be able to see some huge changes and I'm really liking it. I know a couple weeks back, maybe like two weeks actually, EA sent out a survey to some people. Um, it's supposed to be kept quiet. You're not really about allowed to talk about the questions that were on it, but they were sent to random players. Some of you guys probably got them. I personally got one from an alternate like farm account that I haven't even played Ultimate Team on this year. Um, and they asked questions about some different aspects of Ultimate Team and from Madden period that they want their our opinion on. And I think they looked at the results and they definitely made some changes. I've heard some great things about these new sets, new solo rewards. The gauntlet was great, the new gauntlet for October. Apparently, it's amazing with rewards. And they've also, I've heard, it's rumor, but I'm looking at Twitter, looking at these awesome pack odds. And I think, guys, we might have made a difference. Anyways, let's get right into this uh, Team of the Week uh, update video. So we got two Team of the Week sets well, three if you count the new upgrade set. You put four gold or team of the week players in, and you get an elite. Now, I wasn't able to see, uh, I guess these are the golds. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like any gold. Um, and it seems like there's a ton of uh, team of the weeks uh, this week. I honestly haven't looked at any of these. The only one I'd really think about, uh, maybe Paul Polesny is probably going to be really slow. Let's just quick look at it, guys. Um, yeah, kind of slow, but that play rec is really nice. Uh, honestly, I'd stay away from him unless you love him and you want that Jacksonville Jaguars team. Um, Alfred might be nice, but Michael Crabtree should have a very good spec catch as well as he, uh, he might have good run black as well. So, uh, just looking at it really fast, not looking too hot. Um, run block is 62, which isn't too bad, but definitely not my cup of tea. I'm going to stay away from the golds probably is vert cam, which is nice. Uh, John Koo might be all right if you like to do a fullback dive. But anyways, let's get into the new team of the week sets. It looks like there's going to be an offensive and a defensive set each week that require elites. And this week we have four elite, like, I guess you could call them base team of the week cards, which is awesome. Um, and so you guys can choose whether you want to do the Jimmy Graham one or the Carlos Dunlap one. The cool thing about this is the prices on Carlos Dunlap and um, Jimmy Graham probably are going to stay a little higher than they normally would because half the people are going to do one, half the people are going to do the other. So that's really cool. But these cards are awesome. Uh, I'm not going to show you the Ezekiel Elliott and the Tremaine Johnson because honestly the stats aren't that great. Elliott has like 90 speed but only like 74 trucking so it's just not worth it. Tremaine Johnson is just a little bit too slow to be useful uh, at this stage in the Ultimate Team. So... Actually, he's like 87 speed, so it's not too bad, but like he's not making my team. I do want to show you uh, Steve Smith Sr., awesome card. He had a pretty good game. Um, unfortunately, they weren't able to win. He caught a long touchdown. Uh, it, it was pretty nice. Uh, 85 speed, 88 spec catch, 90 catch in traffic, and 89 jumping. It's going to be a solid run blocker as well. He's usually really strong, get good run blocking. 6-3 run block right there. Not bad for a receiver. But the best card in the base team of the week's period so far in the game, Zach Brown. He's going from a 78 overall to an 86 overall. I was worried they were going to give him a gold, but 26K, guys. I'm telling you, if you have 26K, you need to buy this guy. Zach Brown for the Buffalo Bills. Shut out the Patriots. High five, Buffalo Bills. You, you guys rock. Anyways, look at this card. 87 speed, 91 tackle, 87 hit power. Should be a little bit higher. He had two... I think two forced fumbles, uh, 81 block shed, 87 acceleration, 88 pursuit, 70 strength, 86 play rec. And check this out, guys. Got good catching with 75. Um, very fast. Could be a user. Could be a guy you let do it on his own because he's got 77 man and 84 zone coverage. That's insane. Um, 86 stamina. 57 spec catch, 80 or 48 catch in traffic. Really nice. A, a solid linebacker. I'm going to pick him up, probably put him at middle linebacker. Um, 
just because he's going to be doing great. So I recommend go checking him out. I'm going to show you guys the two sets, I guess you call them heroes, and then also the limited time card. So we're going to start off with Carlos Dunlap right here. Right now going for 97K. It's crazy that a set hero for Team of the Week is already down to 97K. But honestly, it's not a spectacular card. 82 speed, which is pretty nice for a left end. Uh, 81 strength, 85 tackle, 88 block shed. Woo! Man, 93 finesse move. Not bad at all. Carlos Dunlap right there. Not bad. And the other uh, one for offense... Jimmy Graham going for 106k. This guy's gonna be a spec catch monster. Check this out. Six seven, six foot seven, 85 speed. Okay, he's just as fast as Steve Smith Sr. Keep that in mind. 90 catching, 89 catching traffic with 91 spec catch. So nice. Unfortunately, his run block's only 73, but I feel like run block this year. Everything sort of pushed together. I feel like a lot of guys, you know, perform similarly similarly when they're doing run blocks. So definitely check this guy out. Should be a solid starter for anyone. Um, or you could even sum him in at wide receiver, get a better run blocking wide receiver. And here you guys go. The limited time hero for Team of the Weeks is going to be Big Ben. Now he had like five touchdowns, like 340 yards, I believe. Uh, does it show his stats? Um, 300 yards, five touchdowns. Insane. If you guys started him in fantasy, bravo. One guy, the guy who hasn't been our league actually sat him this week, which I don't know why. The Chiefs, I don't know. The Chiefs hasn't, haven't been doing that great on defense. I guess they did well last week. But, you know, Big Ben, when he loses, gets his butt kicked like, like he did by the Eagles, the next game, he's coming out full force, and they're scoring a lot of points. So I would have started him if I was the guy in our league, but he sat him. Anyways, Big Ben, let's check it out. 74 speed with 92 throw power, 90 throw accuracy short, 92 medium, and 87 deep. Insane. Also has 92 throw on the run. I think that's one of the best throw on the run quarterbacks so far in Madden Ultimate Team. This is, honestly, this is like one of the best quarterbacks, if not the best quarterback in the game right now. Um, really, like he does not compare against anyone I have, and I love Russell Wilson. So, if you need to upgrade a quarterback, go pull some packs, try to get this guy. Also, guys, there's new packs out in the game. Team of the Week packs. Now, this is what it is. This pack guarantees one Team of the Week player from the current week. I'm, I'm assuming gold or better. One Team of the Week player from any week. Okay. It also contains 10 additional player and team items. So, looks like four gold or better that are just regular gold or betters. Two silver better, two bronze better, and two team items, which one of them is going to be a Mutt Tips item. So not bad at all for the pack. Um, and then also, the, the bundle this week is going to be a Team of the Week pack bundle. Topper is one Team of the Week player needed in the hero set. So a guaranteed elite player. Okay, that's what I like to see. Unfortunately, the elite players are down a ton but still, it's not bad at all. Um, I think this is one of the better bundles. Um, but still, if you're if you're trying to just do those new hero sets, which I probably should make a video about, you know, Pro Packs might be the better option. Um, but some of you guys already knew if you follow me on Twitter. Yesterday was my birthday. And so we're going to pull this bundle. I'm super excited. I had a great birthday. I'll talk about it maybe at the end of the video. Show you guys some of the gifts that I got. I'm pretty pumped about it. So let's go ahead and go ahead and open up this bundle let's see if we're gonna get something hopefully i have enough space in the binder because i don't know if i will we're saving the topper till the end so stick around until the end uh let's back out because i think i also have an all pro pack and i'd like to i would start off with the all pro pack if we have it still we might already lost it because I, I always wait too long for those so actually we have a lot of freaking packs we could open up we got a quick sell pack okay Mutt Rewards Contracts. I haven't been on Ultimate Team in, in a little bit. So, let's go ahead and open up this All-Pro Pack. We'll move into the Team of the Week packs and see what we can get. Wendell Smallwood is having a pretty good year. He had a great game last week. Would love to see him um, continue to perform. Uh, Anthony Costanzo. Whoa. 
Mario Williams, Joe Hayden, 84 overall. And I think, I don't know if any of these guys, I'm looking at, um, I think it's Muhort got the Team Heroes. That's a pretty nice one. Let's go ahead and get into the Team of the Week packs. Get this thing going. All right, Marcus Smith, who's been a bum. He was drafted way too early and has been crap. Don't know why the Eagles drafted him so early, but they did. Fools. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what the... Uh, I was hoping that like it would flash green a little bit. But Paul Polesny right there. Uh, team of the week from this week. Maybe we'll get another one from this week. Maybe we'll get somebody else. Anquan Bolden right there. All right, let's see what we get. Michael Crabtree, so two from this week. So we got pretty lucky there. Not bad at all. So basically, I need two more golds from this week in order to do the elite upgrade set. So that's not bad. We should have an elite by the end of the video. So I like this. We actually, uh, we got the topper that gives us a, an elite from this week's uh, team of the week. So we're looking pretty good right now. We're going to get some elites here guaranteed today, hopefully. Um, worst case, we'll try, we'll trade the, uh, the, uh, blah, 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 the team of the weeks we get for other ones so we can do the set. Another Paul Polozny. Dang, man. I think he is uh, the second highest overall for golds. So, I mean, oh, get an elite. Oh, Ezekiel Elliott. Let's go 85 overall. I'll show you guys his stats now since I didn't before. 90 speed, 89 acceleration, 90 agility, 91 ball carry vision, 88 carrying, uh, 87 juke move, not, uh, 76 truck, and 87 elusiveness. Not bad at all. He probably should have decent catching, I would guess. 69 catch. I thought it'd be a lot better than that. But an elite is an elite, baby. We'll definitely take it. We'll definitely take it. I like that. I wish Carlos Williams got signed by another team. His card would have been insane this year, especially at only at a 75 overall. That might be a good golden ticket to make if you guys remember. Um, to go from a 75 overall to a 99 overall is going to be awesome. So keep that in mind. If you pull a golden ticket later on in the year, keep that in mind. All right, let's get into this next pack. Let's see what we can get. We already got an elite team of the week. We should have possibly two more coming um, in this video, which is awesome. Robert Alford right there. So we need one more team of the week from this week. I don't remember who it is. Uh, John Coon. So we're getting a guaranteed elite. All right. This is, this is looking pretty good, guys. We're not doing too bad. Maybe they did juice up the pack odds a little bit, which I love, uh, especially because they've just been so trash. So I'm pretty pumped right now. I'm, I'm looking, this is looking good, guys. I've been really down on Ultimate Team. It, it's just it, people aren't enjoying it as, as much as they had in years past. Another Paul Pelesny, man. Um, these might be nice to snipe, especially if you can do the upgrade set. This is basically the set they had in last year. Uh, they, they basically brought it back and did Team of the Week how they used to have it. And that's the way it should have been the whole time. So, glad they're noticing that. Making some changes, updating um, during the year. It seems like I think I've only gotten Team of the Weeks from this week. I'm not sure what week he's from. We could probably look and see. Week 1. Uh, there might be an upgrade set that we can throw this guy in and maybe get something. That would be cool. All right. I think we got maybe one more pack after this. We're going to back out after this one and check to see how much we have left. A Mutt Gear towel item. Mutt Gear sets expire this week. So, guys, if you have Mutt Gear items, you might want to put them in. If you, like, if you have a set halfway done, you might want to try to finish up the sets. If not, I would hold on to your Mutt Gear items. I think we're going to get a new Mutt Gear set soon. Uh, another Paul Pelezi in Elite. Okay, Sean Lee, not too bad. 85 overall. If they go ahead and put that glitch set back into the game, this might be a good elite to uh, hold on to, to to do it. Also, he's a right outside linebacker. 4-3. We might be able to um, to squeeze him in our lineup. I ought to compare him a lot more, but I'm leaning towards Levante David. Um, pretty pretty similar cards, but he's got a little bit faster, a little bit faster speed. Uh, three more Team of the Week packs, then we have our topper. We might open up those pro packs, depends on how much room we really have left over at the end of the day. Uh, Jadavion Clowney right there. I have to see which uh, hero sets are going for a lot. You know, people want to do them, because that will change the value of these gold, silver, and uh, bronze players. Um... 
the sets, I think it's 10, 10, 10. So 10 bronze, 10 silver, 10 gold. So gold players probably are going to go up a little bit. Robert Alford right there. We might even be able to do the, the elite guaranteed set twice if we get one more of the team of the week from this week. Um, another Robert Alford. I think we have enough John Coon. No, I think we have enough. Maybe we have enough John Coons. I don't, I don't remember. We're going to have to check it out at the end of this video because uh, this is looking pretty nice. It's looking pretty nice. Let me know how you guys' packs are doing. If you feel like pack odds were increased, another Paul Pelusny, man. This is insane. I wish it was a lot easier to trade. Uh, Quan Alexander, I think that was last week's. Oh, getting another elite. Okay. 86 overall, Jarrell Casey. Not too bad. Not the best player, but not too bad at all. We'll be able to sell it for a little bit of coin. I might hold off a couple of days because these packs seem to be... <gasps> Marvin... Jones Jr., baby. Let's check this out. This is a football outsider card, so I don't really know the value. 87 speed, 87 catching, 91 spec catch. Let's freaking go. 6'2 as well. So does he run block? I don't think he's a run blocker. I think he's got like 50 run blocking, but still, we got to check. 40 run block, definitely not going to be on my team. We got to have high run blocking, guys. So this pack, of, I think packs are juiced, guys. I really think... They must have improved the, the pack odds. I know that was one of the big complaints I had. Um, I don't want pack odds to be guaranteed elites all the time. But I do think it's nice when you pull some freaking elites like Steve Smith Sr., baby. All right. <clears throat> the only thing is all these elites are all over this market. So... The problem is these elites, we're pulling elites, but they're going for like 25 I guess 25k is not bad. We probably This is probably like a 100k pack opening here, so I really can't complain too much. Not bad at all. Getting that Steve Smith Sr. Uh, okay, we have our week four team of the week topper. I don't know if you can... No, it, it was a guaranteed elite for this, the hero set. So let's see who it's going to be. Let's go get into this, vid, or get into this bag. And Jermaine Curse, I mean Tremaine, Tremaine Johnson, not a bad card. Let's check it out. I don't think I showed you guys this. I think we almost have all the elites that go into the set. What the heck? This is crazy. There's been a long time since I've gotten elites on elites on elites. 87 speed with 87 man, 84 zone, uh, 83 play rec, 89 agility, 80 catching. 80 catching is pretty nice. Uh, how tall is he? Six foot two. Maybe this card's a little bit better than I thought, guys. This card might not be too bad. Black settings at 60, which is pretty good. Um, I'm liking this card. It's not a bad card at all. So, guys, I pulled all the cards except for Zach Brown. Unfortunately, that's the one I really want. So, I'm going to go in here and do these, uh, Team of the Week upgrade sets. We've got enough gold players to do it once, maybe twice. I think I only got one Michael Crabtree. But I think I got like two or three of all the other ones. So we might have to buy a Michael Crabtree. But it might be worth it just to try to do these uh, elite player sets. Steve Smith Sr. Dang it. Not a bad card. But I would rather have uh, the, the Zach Brown. So let's see how much these golds are going for. Definitely not worth it to do the upgrade set, guys. Um, 15k. If all these are 15k, which I doubt they are, sell them ASAP. Like they're not worth 15k a pop, um, especially when you know the Zach Brown. Let's see. It was at 25k when I showed you guys. 26k. That's a steal. It's gonna be cheapest right now. So go ahead and. Pick this guy up if you want him. I recommend him to everyone. Like everybody should go pick him up for their team. Um, I'm I'm gonna go in here and uh, probably check the rest of the the gold team of the weeks and see how much they go for. Um, sorry, I'm not cutting this part out. I just you, you guys will survive. Team of the weeks. Um, let's do newest. <clears throat> so look at all these team of the weeks that we got. We have these guys that we can sell. Uh, their value probably dropped a lot, but Paul Pelusny, let's check him out. 6K. So maybe it's just that Crabtree's the most expensive one. 6K for him. Alfred is going to be probably about 2K. Dang, man. If you can snipe that Michael Crabtree one, the set might be worth it. The set might be worth it. John Kuhn right here. 
Let's check him out. 6K for that one. So not bad. I probably... I'll, I'll sit on the, the auction house for a little bit. But if I sell all these, I might be able to make enough coin to just go ahead and buy that Zach Brown. Especially if I sell all these elites as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys get in your packs. Have your packs been juiced today? Because seriously, guys, we pull one, two, three, four, five, six, seven elites today. I think pack odds have been improved. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to show you guys some of the birthday gifts. So if you guys don't want to see it, uh, thank you guys for sticking around in the video for Team of the Weeks. Uh, but here are some of the gifts I got. All right, so uh, starting off, uh, I got some gift cards and uh, some money that I'm going to be able to use to invest and more equipment for the channel. I love improving stuff and just making it as good as I can. So, um, yeah, definitely you should see some improvements in the next couple of weeks or so as I buy better equipment, maybe even upgrade a mic. I like my mic a lot, um, but I have known some glitches in it. Um, also, maybe upgrade some things in the computer, maybe get some better software, some stuff like that. So, that's pretty cool. So, one thing I got, I'm 24, I turned 24. I got some shot glasses with some Eagles logos on them. Same both sides are like silver. Um, acrylic. I don't know what that means, but I guess that means it's painted on. I don't know. I haven't even opened it yet. Yeah, so it's, it's like a plastic, but it's pretty freaking sweet. It looks awesome. Sorry, it's got the blue glow on it. It's from the, the webcam, but it's pretty cool. Um, I'm excited. I'll probably display them somewhere in my in my recording room, in the room I'm in now. Um, maybe like behind here. It'll be pretty cool. So it's pretty cool. Next, my wife and I are really into like survival gear. Like we got a big like bug out bag. You know, it's kind of cool. Um, I got some survival tip playing cards. So like you can see it on the back. If it focuses, I don't know if it'll focus. It probably won't. But so each like playing card has a survival tip. That one's like not tying, which is pretty cool. Um, just all kinds of different little tips that you guys could use for survival. It's got on there, so it's awesome. Another awesome gift my wife got for me. All I need is Eagles football and my dog. I was going to write my wife on there, but I don't need her. I just need this. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, this is a pretty awesome little thing. I'm going to display it somewhere. The only problem, like the wall... If I put it all the way back there, it's going to be so small, you won't be able to see it. Another awesome gift I got. This is my brother. Got me Guess Who. You know, like the Guess Who flashbacks that used to be popular and now they're not because nobody cares about them. Oh, oh, oh sorry if I hurt your feelings. Uh, anyways, Guess Who. But you were like, oh, Guess Who, that's kind of cool. But no, check this out. I know we got some fans of The Walking Dead. My brother actually made it. So it's Walking Dead characters. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell. But it's so freaking cool. It's got a bunch of characters. The only thing that I... Like, it's really... I, I, this is such a cool gift. The only thing I would have changed is all these characters... Before the, the season premiere are currently alive. So I would have put... If it was me, I would have mixed some dead ones in there. Um, just to like, that could be a question. Is your character alive or is he dead or he or she or whatever? So pretty cool game. I like, I'm super pumped to play my, me and my wife are huge fans of the walking dead. So it'll be pretty cool. And the last gift that I got was from my in-laws and I'm super pumped because I've, oh, every time we go to like survival stores with him, he's like retired army. So he like loves going, looking at guns and stuff, but he also has a, like a bug out kind of bag. Um, we went camping a couple weekends ago, but they got me a tomahawk. So I'll be able to like check it at some zombie heads or something. I'm, I'm glad I didn't like let go and like go straight into my computer right there. Cause that would have been bad, but looks pretty sweet. Um, it's like a military style. Um, they got it from a military thing. I don't know, but it, it's pretty sweet right there. You can probably can see it right there. Um, really freaking sharp. It's also got a, uh, if I can get it out. So it's got like a fire starter. I don't know if you guys have ever used it, but you just slide against the blade. Uh, you probably won't be able to see it, but. Woohoo! Yeah, it's pretty cool. 
So you just stick it right in the bottom. It's also got a lot of rope on there. So you can use that for tying or just have a nice comfy little handle. So yeah, those are the awesome birthday gifts I got. I'm pretty pumped. 24 years old. Got to celebrate with an awesome bundle. So I'm pretty pumped. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for sticking around if you did. Uh, drop a like on the video if you did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.